just astounding to me they don't put a little thing on the inside of there that holds that in place. Now pound your meat. Oh, that looks good. Welcome back. Tonight we're going with a fast, easy weeknight meal that can double as your weekend dinner party go-to, chicken piccata. Let's go. Okay, step one is we're gonna butterfly our chicken breasts and make them a little bit thinner so they cook evenly in our pan. Try your best to navigate opening up saran wrap. Chicken's into place. It's just astounding to me they don't put a little thing on the inside of there that holds that in place. Now pound your meat. Voila, meat is pounded. All purpose flour, one cup for our dredging station. Okay, now we take each cutlet, we're gonna season the top and bottom with salt and pepper into the dredging station. Right into the flour, get a good coat on there. Okay, hang on. This isn't gonna work. Okay, that wasn't as efficient with our time as we could be. So we're gonna lay out all of our chicken cutlets, season them all at once, flip them over, season them a second time on the backside, then be done. Doing them one by one on the plate is just stupid. Okay, now back to our flour dredging. Smarter, not harder, you know what I'm saying? This might be the first time in the history in this kitchen that the flour ratio is actually the right amount. Okay, flour dredging done. Now we're gonna get our skillet nice and hot and ready to fry these things up. Two tablespoons grass-fed butter and about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Hear that crackle? Time for the cutlets to go in. We're gonna do about three to five minutes on each side. So while your cutlets are browning in the skillet, click that oven over to 350 and let it start coming up to temp. Next step is dice up some of your shallots and garlic for our sauce. Okay, now give our cutlets a flip. Starting to get nice and golden brown. Slice and juice one lemon. Put your shoulder into it. Now we're gonna take another lemon and use it for a nice beautiful garnish. Okay, getting out all my head before I lose a finger. Chicken comes out, goes onto our pan to rest, and we're gonna use that sauce and drippings and cook our shallots and garlic in it. In goes our garlic. Click that thing up to high. Get a cup of good white wine and it. finish the bottle. Okay, after a minute of letting our white wine boil down, we're gonna add our fresh lemon juice, one cup of chicken stock. Okay, now one teaspoon of organic, better than bouillon stuff is potent. So definitely one teaspoon, not one tablespoon. Back to Fat Boy Camp, four tablespoons of grass-fed butter right into our sauce. Two tablespoons of capers drained. Get rid of that juice. Okay, now we're gonna let our sauce reduce for about five minutes. Then we'll put our chicken back in there. Cover it with some of those fresh lemon slices. Cover this in foil without burning ourselves. Hit it again. 350, 20 minutes. Salt some water, put that on high. Watch it until it starts boiling. Grab our angel hair pasta. I don't think you need much explanation of how to cook pasta. This takes two minutes to cook. <laughs> Pasta's done. Angel hair cooks pretty damn fast. Okay, without losing an eyebrow, out comes our dish. That looks good. Now we're gonna hit this on a broil real quick. Okay, double mitten. You're grabbing a skillet out of a super hot oven. Oh, that looks good. There we go, lemon chicken piccata. Let's see what we're working with. This might be a winner. That is so good. So for that big ass weekend party you're gonna host, this recipe can easily be doubled or quadrupled. 
And there you go, lemon chicken piccata. Fast, easy, and goddamn good.